All right, so we are going to start a program that is going to run this until it hits something. And as you can see, it has hit something, but it's not detected that it's hit anything. And you can kind of see the, the robot rocking back and forth in the case. but it won't detect anything. So what we're gonna do is we're going to now stop this and take a look at the, the actual sensor data. All right, so we have run the robot and we've run it into uh, something. And so now what we're doing is we're looking at the sensor data to see if there's anything that we could use on the Sphero Bolt uh, sensors to try to detect the collision without actually using the on collision event um, that's supplied. And so I'm really having a hard time reading these, th these sensors. And I, I wish that there was some documentation that gave us some, some more specific examples of what each sensor was actually measuring. And I'll kind of explain this and maybe we'll, I'll figure it out as I'm explaining it. But so, Right here is our gyroscope uh, sensor, and you'll notice um, if we click on this and bring it up, over here on the left-hand side, it says rotational rate, and it says degrees per second. So the, the question here is the rotation of what? Um, is it the rotation of the outside of the wheel, the rotation of the, the robot on the inside of the sphere? Um, what exactly is this rotation? That would be my first question. <clears throat> My second question is if, if I turn off the roll and y'all, and, and you'll notice roll uh, is, is kind of back and forth the whole time this thing's moving, and I don't really know why. And y'all, which should be a left and right kind of movement, um, it's also up and down quite a bit. Um, it'd be nice to, to be able to normalize some of this so that you're only getting the spikes and not the, the total... Uh, back and forth because I don't like again I don't really understand what it's measuring and so we've got rotation rate per degrees per second so right off the bat between from the the thing hit from the time I started the video it took seven seconds from the start of the video until it actually ran into something so it was five seconds in uh, before it started rolling, which means two seconds into this is when it actually ran into something. And so looking at the gyroscope, the pitch, which I would, I mean, it should be the, the forward and, you know, the up and down movement of the, of the robot. It, it says that it pitched 300 degrees per second, about a half of, about one second into it starting to move across the, the, floor and then at two seconds which is when it actually ran into something it seems to have have evened out so it it, it goes back down here to you know 30 or 40 now one interesting thing is is that if i run the same program on my macbook pro i still get all the sensor data but it's not nearly as erratic as this it's it's like a completely different sensor reading coming off of my MacBook Pro compared to the iPad and I, I don't really understand the reasoning behind that either. Um, but the, the big question right now is what exactly is pitch looking at when we're going through this process? So if we take another look at the, at the actual robot after it impacted the, the two by four, um, it, it continues to rock left and right um, and which would be your your yaw, which I you know it doesn't seem any more or less, no matter whether it hit anything or not. Um, and then we've got our roll, which would be rolling from our or let's see. So yaw is going to, is going to be a movement left to right with the nose. Roll would be rolling left and rolling right. Um, as if you, you know, held the front and back and spun it around your fingers. So the roll rate, again, after impact, it seems like it, it immediately started rolling left and right. 
Um, and you can see that um, when you're looking at it because it starts to wobble left and right. Um, so you you got the the roll, the little bit of left and right roll once it hit. Um, but the the real confusion is pitch. Um, pitch actually seems to be a lot more erratic when it first starts moving across the floor as it is when it actually runs into something. So um, we'll have to take a, another look at, at that aspect of it. So if we let this thing roll, until it hits you see a little bit of roll, you know, of, of a forward and uh, up and down movement at, as far as the front of the sphere goes when it first starts moving, but it's very small movements. It's not, you know, it's not like it's rocking 300 yes, degrees per at least I wouldn't think it's rocking 300 degrees per second. So, and it's an up and down movement, which, you know, you can kind of see that in this graph, but I don't really, again, understand what it's measuring. Now, once it runs into something and we start watching it, it has a, a left and right wobble that it's, that it's doing, but the robot itself is not, it's pitched up. So it's actually, again, I don't know what it is I'm looking at because to me at this point, the robot is actually pitched up, but are we measuring the pitch of the robot or are we measuring something else? I would think we'd be measuring the robot. So to me, when it ran into something, which is again at two seconds, um, I would have thought that, that the pitch up would have been pretty substantial because the robot inside the sphere, the sphere has stopped, but the robot inside the sphere is still trying to move it forward, which is going to pitch it up, which is what I was trying to, to read the measurement of to figure out that I had hit something. But as you can see from this graph, it, it's not showing that, that situation at all. Um, I'm really confused as to what exactly the graph or any of these sensors are actually telling us. And so flipping back over into our, our graphs, um, we've got our accelerometer. Um, again, the accelerometer looks pretty smooth. Um, it's telling us that it's the acceleration. So between one and two seconds, it's, it's got some erratic movement in there for, for the accelerometer. But then once it actually runs into to the two by four, you don't see any, any kind of sensor data to signify that it has run into something. I mean, it, it, there's very little movement here. The X coordinate, you know, has a little bit of movement to it. But the, the Y, the total movement is there's a little bitty blip right at two, but it's not even as much as it was just rolling across the floor, you know, before two seconds. So I really just want to try to understand exactly what it is we're looking at um, on, on these graphs, uh, or at least what we're, what we're, what kind of data we're receiving for each sensor movement instead of just telling us, oh, this is the pitch sensor, you know, what exactly is happening and how is it measuring itself? Because without knowing that it's really difficult to write a program to take advantage of it. So, uh, you know, hopefully somebody can help answer this question because at the moment I'm completely baffled looking at the sensor data and trying to figure out any useful way to look at this.